Hey everybody, Ross Newton from CrowdPur, and we're gonna use CrowdPur to make a fun holiday trivia game in five minutes featuring National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Home Alone, and a Christmas story. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, I'm Newton down here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to crowdpur.com and go ahead and click try for free. And if you haven't made an account, go ahead and create one in the app. I already have, so I'm just gonna log in real quick. All right, and if you don't have any experiences created, you can just click on get started or we can click on create experience. I'm gonna do that. Here's all of our list of experiences. We're gonna create a countdown trivia game to do our holiday classic trivia game. And you're gonna see our trivia library, which is our 1000 plus database of trivia games and all kinds of cool categories and topics, everything from trending to new to sports and movies and TV and all that. But we wanna make a, a holiday classic trivia game on National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Home Alone and A Christmas Story. So we'll go ahead and type in uh, Christmas Vacation here in the search bar. And if we scroll down, we see National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Let's click on the blue arrow and this lets us look at all the various trivia questions that are in this game. And each trivia game in our library has 15 questions. So let's just add the first five questions of this game. We're gonna make a 15 question trivia game. Alrighty, and then just go ahead and click back and then we'll do, we'll do a search for Home Alone. And you could find these in their categories as well, but it's just easy to search. And we'll go ahead and add the first five questions of this trivia game. And so we'll go back and do a search for Christmas. And we'll add the first five questions of this trivia game. And if we want to see all the questions that we've added, we can click in the lower right hand corner. You notice that the questions added was increasing. If we click on the list icon, we can see all the trivia questions that we've added in this game. And they're all listed there. Um, and also in the, up in the upper right hand corner, we have this cool trending pack icon. And if you click on that, that's all of our holiday and trivia games all listed in one place. So you can peruse through all of our new games, all of our classic games. So you don't have to type in all those searches. We have all those there right, right now. And our game of the month actually is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. So go ahead and click next now that we've got those 15 questions. And we're gonna run this game in host controlled mode, which means that we're going to run it live. And everybody that's, everybody's gonna play together and we're as the host, we're going to drive it from question to question. We also have fully automatic mode, which will run the game automatically, sort of like press go, set it and forget it. And then we also have something called crowd controlled mode, which is where if you just want to create a trivia game and have players come and play it at any time, it's sort of like in 24 seven passive mode. So they can just go through the game at their pace. It's not being run live or anything like that. But for this demo, we're going to do host control mode. So go ahead and press next. And we're going to call this holiday trivia party and click rock and roll. And this is gonna go ahead and create our trivia game. So now we're on the experience dashboard and you can see all of the questions that we've added here. And if we click under active question, if we click the right arrow, we can go through these questions and you can see that our trivia questions have question images, they have answer images, they have question notes. They're all very rich and detailed and the trivia library doesn't quite show you all of that. Um, but our team researches these games, adds all this content and makes it super easy for you to get going in just a few clicks. And we can see that we have five questions from a Christmas vacation. We have five questions from Home Alone and we have five questions from uh, a Christmas story. Our next step is to open up the projector view. And this is an optional uh, sort of presentation view that you can connect to an external projector or a TV or a monitor if you're at a live event. You could share this in a Zoom meeting and everybody could follow along in the Zoom meeting and have the game open on their phone. Um, or you could put this on a TV at a bar or a restaurant. It's sort of just a presentation view for everybody to follow along. And let's go ahead and give this a red background just to get into the Christmas spirit a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and open up something called the mobile view. And this is basically sort of a test uh, window to kind of play the game is how a player would play. This is exactly what any player is going to see on their phone. And we'll go ahead and give this a red background to get into the Christmas spirit a little bit more. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and upload a custom logo. If you upgrade to the classroom plan or higher, you can actually uh, up upload a custom logo rather, add additional colors. I have a custom logo right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it in and click save image. And now we have a cool holiday trivia party logo here. And you'll notice that's also on the projector view. So we're looking a little bit more spirited, a little bit more on point of what our trivia game is gonna look like. So at this point, let me go ahead and I'll sign in on the mobile view here. So I'll, I'm Ross, I'll go ahead and click join. 
We're now ready to start our trivia game. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the blue countdown timer and just click start countdown. There's no other um, settings to set. And if we go to that projector view, we can see that everything stays in sync. So the projector view and all players participant views will stay in sync. And that's gonna automatically launch the first question. And what family is at the center of the 1989 holiday classic National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation? I'll go ahead and click the Griswolds. We all know that. And we'll go ahead and let the timer run down. And now nothing's going to happen in our game until we as the host trigger additional views or the next question. That's what's cool about host control mode is that it's waiting for us as the host to do something. So we have these viewer controls. I'll go ahead and click show live answer results. And that highlights a bar graph on the projector view and on the mobile view of the way all the various players answered. It's just me playing right now. So there's one answer, so 100% votes. Uh, for the Griswolds, I can click show correct answer and that indicates to everybody what the correct answer is on, on their devices. We can see that we got that correct. And then lastly, I can do show rankings leaderboard. And so I'm the only player playing right now. Uh, so I got 53 points and the, rank, the rankings leaderboard is also on the projector view. But let's go ahead and add some more players to this game. So I'm gonna jump forward and open a few more browsers in order to test this. So I've opened a few more browsers and we have Daryl that's gonna join in the game, Tom and Sally. And in order to do this, I just opened up browsers to our game's URL, which is crowd.live slash sgmbo and now when i go to trigger the next question by simply going to the next question on the dashboard now we have all four players in the game and this is a answer image question what breed is cousin eddie's dog snot and we'll, we'll maybe we'll vote incorrect on a few of them and vote correct it's a rottweiler and we'll get all those votes in. And now once again, the question's over, so we can do show live answer results, which I can also trigger with a keyboard shortcut. So I'll just click A, and that shows the um, answer results. And we can see all the ways everybody, all the players voted. I can press C to show correct answer, and that's gonna highlight the Rottweiler as the correct answer. And then if I go to the rankings with R, now we see a leaderboard with more players on it because more players have joined the game. And you can kind of make your game, you can, you can wait to start your game until all the players are in. Um, but this is kind of how we proceed and we can you know, trigger additional questions and go through all 15 of our questions and you'll see everything stays in sync. And when we're on the final question, after the final question, you can press the stop button and that will end the game and show everybody how many points they earned. And we can see that Ross won, I had the, the most, um, points out of everybody and we can also see that on the dashboard and this was just an example of practicing that game now when we want to run this game for real we can reset this and click the reset button in the upper left hand corner and click clear crowd responses now our game is reset we're back on question one there's no voters there's no answers there's no rankings it's ready to go again and now we can just close these out because we don't need these anymore we can now give this url crowd.live slash sgmbo or the qr code here you can share that in a zoom meeting email that code to your participants you know call people on the phone and tell them what it is um, send them an email with the link um, and they can join this game on their phone and then you can run this for real by just kicking the game off again, saying start countdown and running it again. Or if you want to, you can do more additional internal tests, um, but that's how you get up and running and create a very cool holiday movie classics trivia game in just five minutes using Crowdpur. Thanks so much for watching the video and we will see you next time. Have fun out there with your trivia games.